some of the most effective anti-aging skincare you can get comes in the form of an oil, but not just any oil will do. And I'm gonna share the seven most effective skincare oils with you that even your dermatologist would use in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You know we talk a lot about skincare devices, products, treatments, techniques, you name it. We've pretty much talked about it, but there has been a lack of focus on skincare ingredients that can be highly effective, such as skincare oils. Now, some of these oils can do really wonderful stuff for your skin, helping to maintain its health, its glow, and to help your other products actually work better all while rolling back the years. And two other big pluses, as they tend to work well across skin types, even for sensitive skin. Now, if you're new to the channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert of 34 years, and my channel is dedicated to helping you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content that you've been looking for here on YouTube, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are out every week. All right, so let's talk skincare oils. Facial oils can help retain moisture in your skin, preventing that trans epidermal water loss that plagues so many of us as we get into our 30s, 40s, and 50s. But it also can help repair your skin and even limit the amount of bacterial growth that occurs, which can help with things like acne breakouts. Now the best oils are gonna be rich in fatty acids, antioxidants, vitamin A, C, and E, but have small enough molecular size so they don't block your pores. Now truly, there are a lot of oils that you can apply to the skin. I've talked about many of them on the channel, both good and bad, but I've narrowed it down to the top seven that you should start with when it comes to things like anti-aging and keeping your skin healthy and glowing at every age. Rosehip oil which has been around, it seems like forever. My grandmother used rosehip oil on her skin, but it is a really great anti-aging oil because it is high in vitamin A, lycopene, and beta carotene, which are good for things like reducing the signs of aging, helping to reduce inflammation and redness, fading hyperpigmentation, and improving your skin's elasticity. Try to say that really early in the morning. It's even good for sensitive skin types that can't tolerate things like retinol, and it's fairly inexpensive. Now, I will be putting links to suggested resources for the oils I'm gonna talk about in today's video down below in the video description box. So be sure and check that out at the end of today's video. Marula oil, which is a very popular oil for both skin and hair, high in antioxidants and antibacterial properties, which makes it a really great skincare oil for people with acne prone and oily skin because it absorbs so quickly and completely, leaving your skin refreshed and hydrated without feeling greasy. Grapeseed oil, which is another oil that we find in many skincare products. It's been around forever. It's tolerated well across skin types, and it's another oil that also absorbs very completely into the skin. Now, it's high in antioxidants and antimicrobial properties, antimicrobial properties properties, and it plumps out the skin, fine lines and wrinkles because it is such a great skin hydrator. Now, it also helps to brighten and lighten the skin tone, so it helps work on acne scarring and even old dark marks and spots. Argan oil, one of my absolutely favorite hair and skin oils because it's packed with rich omega-369 fatty essential acids which helps repair your skin tissues and also build up that important lipid layer to prevent that trans epidermal water loss and protect your skin from external irritants in the environment. Not to mention what it does for fine lines and wrinkles. Avocado oil. Avocado, not just for guacamole anymore. And boy, do I love me some guac. But avocado oil is actually made from the flesh of the avocado rather than the seed, where we get many of our skincare oils, they come from seeds, grapeseed oil, not the case with avocados. Now this oil is particularly good if you have dry, flaky, aging skin. So if you're one of those people that really suffers with dry skin issues, 
avocado oil can really make a huge difference in hydrating your skin, helping to repair those tissues. It is oleic acid, which is an acid that actually helps release the bond between old skin cells and new skin cells, much like a glycolic acid would, helping you to shed those old skin cells off, revealing newer, fresher, healthier skin. So avocado oil, it's almost really a healing oil, but absolutely great for dry skin types and really good in any anti-aging routine because it helps promote and increase collagen production and helps speed up cellular turnover, producing newer, healthier skin cells. Seabuck Thorn Oil. Now this is a really interesting skincare oil that a lot of people don't know about, but it is very helpful for dry, flaky aging skin, reduces inflammation and redness, so it works well with people that have eczema and psoriasis as well. It's a very interesting history about this oil. It's been around for a very long time. It grows in high altitudes in the Himalayas and the really salty coastlines in the Mediterranean. It's a very tough bush. This oil is made from the leaves, the stems, and the berries, so they use pretty much all of it. And it has a rich history in equestrian care, so they fed it to horses way back in the day to improve their stamina and their coat and skin health. So it has a long history of being very helpful. So it can help your skin tissues heal themselves, actually helps protect your skin from the environment and produce those ever important, newer, healthier skin cells. So now let's talk about olive oil. Olive oil has been around for skincare use for many, many thousands of years. It's not anything new. However, there's some things that you need to know about olive oil. It's great if you have dry skin, so it's gonna be very, very helpful for you. If you have oily skin or acne prone skin, not so helpful. The reason is olive oil has a tendency to block pores. Yes, it can block pores. Trapping oil, dirt, and bacteria down lower in the pore, causing you to have more issues with breakouts. So it's not a really great oil if you have skin problems, but it is a great oil for skin and hair if you have dry skin problems. Now, as with anything you're gonna put on your skin, you need to do a patch test in essential oils, and these types of skincare oils are absolutely no different. You don't really need to do a 48-hour patch test. 24 hours is usually well enough. Put it on the inside of your elbow, leave it there. Make sure that you're not sensitive to it or have any sort of problems because you want to discover it here and not on your face. Also, be sure to check out the videos that are coming up next because they will help you perfect your personal skincare routine for your personal skin type and get your best skin ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay beautiful and I will see you over on the next video. Got a skincare question you want answered? Just type Chris Gibson and the topic in the YouTube search bar and the video will come up.